Yeah. Oh, la. Thank you for joining us yes. today. Firstly, congratulations. New addition to the family. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah. The daughter now. Yeah. So. How's that been the last week or so, a couple of weeks? Amazing. She's, she's easy, you know, a week and a half. And um, my, my son is good with her too, you know. I have a four-year-old as well, and he's like, uh, he loves her, so it's, it's pretty nice. Oh, fantastic. And to you, yeah. how's the hand healing up? Good. I'm, uh, it looks almost normal now. Um, I'm able to punch uh, as of like uh, two weeks ago. Uh, I've been lifting, uh, you know, get, getting back in training. So everything's uh, everything is uh, on point right now, you know. Brilliant. Obviously, we've got to talk about Friday night, one Warriors code. You now know your next opponent. What are your thoughts on that bout, that performance by Rainy Adarida? <clears throat> he found a way to win, you know. Uh, he's still undefeated, 12-0 now, you know, he found a way to win, uh, got two impressive wins and then uh, one, one more win last, uh, you know, uh, last weekend, so he, he deserves a shot, you know, he deserves a shot, uh, and I'm excited. Were you surprised it mainly stayed on the feet? I mean, it does sometimes happen when you get two grapplers, they kind of cancel each other out. Were you surprised by that? What were your thought, thoughts on his stand-up game? It, you know, that's not, you know, both of them are, uh, they're strong suitors, they're grappling, they're both, you know, jiu-jitsu black belts. Uh, Leandro is, you know, a, a world champion, and then uh, uh, Rainier competing in the, you know, U Europeans as well. So, um, they're both grapplers. Uh, they both can strike as well, and as you can see, you know, with, with all three rounds, most of it being on the feet, they, they both can strike as well. Um, but, uh, you know, because they're both grapplers, they negate each other's grappling. And it ended up more on the feet, so it makes sense, you know. What did you think about that cut to Leandro? What, say that again? What did you think about the cut to Leandro's lip? The cut to Leandro's lip? Um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that big. It wasn't that bad. It's too bad. I, I think for, for one championship bout, there's quite a lot of blood there, a lot more than we're used to seeing in one. Really? Yeah. I mean, like, more than my up thousand? close, they, it was it was kind of going everywhere. Really? I mean, normally they 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 they're very good at controlling the blood, but I think yeah. this way it was just literally. Yeah, I mean, it's a you know, it's it's a place in your 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 face that uh, that bleeds a lot, you know, and with the adrenaline and you know what what's going on, it, it's bound to happen, you know, the the blood's bound to spray and you know get all over the canvas and stuff. So, what? it doesn't, it doesn't, blood doesn't really bother me, so. That's yeah. a good job, you're in the right job then. Yeah. Now, Rainey, he, he looked a bit fatigued in the third round. What were your thoughts there? I mean, obviously, if, if you take him on, it's going to be a five-round bout. Do you think he should have any concerns about his, uh, his uh, cardio? I mean, I'm sure he's going to prepare well for a five-rounder. Um, but if you haven't been in a five-round, it, it's, it's hard to gauge. You know, um, but but my plan is always to finish the fight before within the within the the, the length of the, the the fight. So he told me after that was the first time he'd he'd gone to the decision. Yeah, I mean, it it also really depends on his uh, uh, depends on the skill set of his opponent. You know, um, if the skill set don't match his skill sets. He's bound to finish them, you know. Um, and and uh, going to a distance is good. It lets you know that you can go to a distance as well without fatigue. Yeah, so. Did you agree with the result? I mean, it was a, it was a very close bout. It, it was a very close bout for sure. It could have gone either way, in my opinion. Um, it, it could have gone either way. Uh, judges are, you know, it, it's it's personal opinion as well. Uh, you know, I, I think it could have gone either way, and I'm, I, I would have been okay with competing against either one of them. Did but, you have a uh, preference I, beforehand? I, did I have preference? Uh, uh, no, I didn't. I would fight both of them. I wouldn't mind fighting both of them. And, 
uh, they both, you know, have, possess a, a different, uh, different uh, danger, and they both possess uh, diff different stylistic matchups. But uh, of course, you know, as a competitor and a, as a mixed martial artist, I enjoy that, you know, and I, and I would have enjoyed competing against both of them. Talking of judges, obviously there's the UFC yesterday, there's a few controversial decisions there, the judges have had a bit of criticism. One championship, they judge their, their bouts in whole. What are your thoughts yeah. there? Would that be a solution? Uh, don't know if that would be a solution, you know, because there's still, you know, personal bias. Uh, there's still like, you know, it, it's, a, it's a hard, there's so many variables in a mixed martial arts fight. You know, it's not like he scored one point, this guy scores three points. It's not like that, you know. It's uh, very, a lot, of, you know, because of there's so many variables, a late kick, a, a jab, a right hand, you know, a, a choke attempt, you know, a takedown, a takedown defense. There's so many variables that you can give score points to, you know. Uh, you just have to have an educated, uh, educated and well-experienced uh, judges. Judges that have watched, I would say, like thousands, you know, years of competing. Uh, then it would make sense, you know, because uh, because for a fighter, a lot is on the line. You know, for a fighter, a lot is on the line uh, as far as decision goes. You know, if you, if you if you have a close fight, which you know, how many percent of fights goes to decision? So a lot of the fights are in judges' hands. You know, that's why it's important to have educated, uh, well-experienced uh, judges. So not bog not boxing judges then. Yeah, definitely not. You know, like, uh, it's like you know, in, in boxing, it's 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 funny because I, you have a lot less variables. You know, you have two hands. Um, you know, I mean, there's a lot less variables compared to uh, MMA, and that's why like the standard of the judges should be higher for MMA. You know, but uh, obviously, it's not right now. Absolutely, so the best thing don't leave it in the judges' hands. Exactly, exactly. That's why I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care for that. You know, show that you want to win this fight. You know, so show that you want to get the title shot. It, it, it was a lot on the line, you know, for them. You know, one of them should have finished the fight, but uh, it, it is what it is. Your future opponent. I don't know if you saw his prediction last week. He said he could only see you him submitting you. So silly. Your thoughts to that? So silly. It, it's a silly position, you know. Like, like I'm just gonna let him submit me. Like, no, you, you'll see. It's gonna be a lot. It's not gonna be what he thinks it is. When, 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 when I throw my first punch, when I throw my first kick, when I defend his first, you know, attempts, he, he will know. You know, he, he's in it. Oh. Do you have any, any idea when this will happen? He, he did say it's out down to you. When, where? How's your recovery going? Any set times or locations that we could be seeing this this fight? I think I think it's happening in a couple months. You know, it's it's uh it's happening in a couple months. Uh, my my injury is healed. I'm uh, ready to you know. I mean, I've been I've been back in in, in camp. Uh, so I'm uh, I'm ready to go. I think it will happen in two 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 or three months. Uh, you know, I can do it. You know, I can do it in a couple weeks if he wants to, but. Um, but it, it, whatever, whenever it is, it'll, it'll be a good show. I think we might finally see you competing in Kuala Lumpur. I would love to, you know. That's that's uh, that's one of my my uh, dream spots, you know, because uh, there's a lot of a big, you know, Myanmar fan base, and I would love to compete in front of them. Um, this year, you know, I plan on staying active. I say I plan on you know competing more, you know, uh, getting better. Uh, each and every fight. So. How's uh, training going at Sanford MMA? You're in the new gym now. How's that going? It's excellent, man. Like we have so much space. Uh, we have a lot of good training partners. Um, you know, every round that I get is like it's amazing. You know, every round, like I get Rory, you know, McDonald. I get you know, uh, you got a. Uh, uh, Linton, then you got Anthony Johnson, you know, you got Steve, you got like all these, you know, um, great guys to, to train with. Lots of experience. 
um, it's it's amazing. You know, it's been an amazing, amazing uh, journey for me. I was going to ask you about Rory. Obviously, there's post uh, photos posted a couple of days ago, training with yourself, with Robbie, his former opponent in that in that war that they went through. How was that training with Rory? Because I'm, I'm a big fan of Rory. You are. Yeah. He's amazing. He, he's a very well-rounded um, and, and very, very humble. Uh, it's. Uh, I feel like you know. I feel like he's a he's the right fit for our group. You know. Our, the whole group is a very skilled um, and very hardworking and, you know, humble group of guys. So it's nice that, you know, he came and, you know, did a, a week with us and uh, he's going to be coming back with training camp. So it's really nice. He's a unique character as well. And I, I like unique characters. <laughs> uh, Rory. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's simple. He's, he, you know, he's a family man now. You know, he's got two kids as well, uh, one girl and one boy. Um, so it's nice, you know, and he's, uh, he, he's, he's moving on to uh, PFL. Yeah. Uh, so that's nice too. Yeah. Did you chat about left way at all? Because I remember him saying a year or two ago that he'd love to see headbutts introduced to MMA. So I, I can imagine left way being a good fit for him. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But uh, we, have a, we have a couple of people, you know, in our gym that are interested in doing left way as well. So. Hopefully this year we'll get a couple of them in, uh, in Myanmar fighting as well. I don't know if you saw um, Andy White, Whitehill. He, he um, asked Conor McGregor about left away. He said he'd be yeah. maybe interested. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know if there's uh, I don't know if there's like enough market in in, in left weight yet. You know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Well, I just want to ask you about Vita Belfort as well. For you train with him. We're still waiting to see his one championship debut. Do you know any, any if there's any news there where you, we might be seeing him make his full debut? Vitor looks in shape, man. Vitor looks strong. Um, you know, I train with him in the mornings and uh, it's nice. You know, he, he's a really nice guy. He, he's like my mentor right now. You know, he's like, uh, uh, everything he tells you is like, man, it's like, it's like MMA history, you know? Every, the stories and his life experiences like MMA history, so it's really cool. Um, he, he's a very good friend to me, you know, and a, and a great training partner as well. Very helpful, very knowledgeable. Um, there's nothing but, you know, good things from him that I can tell you right now, so. Brilliant. Lastly, do you have a message for your, your next opponent, Raina Dorita? I mean... He, he said enough, you know, he said enough, so um, I'll see you soon, you know, I'll see you soon, uh, and we'll put on a good show, so. Brilliant, we can't wait for that. Yep. Thank you for today. No, me too. <laughs> You're welcome. See you soon. See Take care, man. see you later.